basically the interaction between non-white people, black, brown, red, yellow, whatnot, uh, with each other, and why is such amount of chaos, a huge amount of chaos, animosity, killing all over the world among the people who are classified as non-white, and a lack of constructive activity. And it's because they do not have a quality relationship with each other. And the reason they don't have a quality re relationship with each other, in my opinion, uh, based on the evidence, is because of the system of white supremacy. And the system of white supremacy uh, is set up to cause these things among non-white people. It also is predicated on the proposition that there's not supposed to be a quality relationship between white people and non-white people. Black people and, non and white people are not supposed to have a quality relationship. And we don't have a quality relationship in aggregate. That's worldwide. Mm -hmm. There's no quality relationship between white people and black people, you might say, to state it in, in a concise fashion. It's not a quality relationship. It's a tragic arrangement. And this tragic arrangement uh, consists of what? How, how would you describe it if you were going to describe it in detail uh, in all of the nine areas of activity? Economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. What is the arrangement between black people and white people on this planet here in 2015? It is a non-quality uh, relationship, non-quality in the form of a tragic arrangement, and I call it the three T's. It's uh, uh, the, the basic arrangement between the people is... Uh, what you have, basically, is this tragic arrangement called tacky, <coughs> mm -hmm. trashy, terroristic. I call it the three T's. It's tacky. If you just watch the interaction between white people and black people on a day-to-day -day level, wherever they happen to be, whether it's in economics, in education, this tragic arrangement consists of those three T's, one or the other or all three.